Good day everyone. Welcome to Studio 39 Design Studio. This is Richman speaking, your head designer. <clears throat> In this video, I'm going to be doing a detail callout tool um, tutorial. Uh, this is also a prelude to the previous video. Uh, the previous video was about the section uh, tool and creating the section that you're seeing on your screen right now. Like I said on this video, I'm going to be doing a detail tool, a call out, so stay tuned for that. Uh, with that said, before I continue, I'd like to encourage you guys to like, comment and subscribe to this channel because I'll be uh, doing videos like this every week. With that said, let's get into it. So it's very simple right here. <clears throat> I'm not really going to take too much time with this because uh, it's very simple. I'm not even going to do too many details. I could easily um, go ahead and um, call out, say, uh, that detail, that area to detail, or even call out maybe uh, the window sill to detail. But what I want to call out, I'm just going to go ahead and just do the foundation. Also, I could just also just um, do this whole part right here, but I don't want to mess around because a call out the call out tool is very simple and um uh, they, there's no need to over complicate things so this is how we're going to be doing it you go to the detail tool uh you click on it and then you click uh the area which you want to detail right now we're under the uh the section layer combination and uh, I just realized 2D uh, detail callout is not part of this layer combination, so I can always just Control L and then go to 2D uh, de detail callout and then just switch it on under the section layer com sections layer combination. And then uh, the next time when I click on it, it doesn't uh, prompt up the window to ask me to either show it or to. Uh, to allocate a new layer for for this so i just uh, i just indicate with the box the area which i want to detail and then i click wherever uh, where i want to lay when i where i want to put my my label for this um as you can see here the the marker size and pen uh, we can make the marker size maybe uh, 10 or we can make it five or we can make it uh, 7.5 I think that's better we'll leave it at D01 so it's detail 01 so the next detail I call out is going to be detail 02 um, <clears throat> okay let's just go into the the settings dialog so that you can uh, see some other information as you can see right here the text the marker te textile uh, is set to green and uh, the text is set to uh, two millimeters high uh, you can the reason why it's not showing as green right here is because I've already under the marker I've already set the uniform marker pen to a gray color uh, I can always uh, unmark that so that it can change this to green as you can see right here so that has changed to green but obviously I'm not interested in red in that right now there's the, there's a lot of things that you can uh, go ahead and and do you can change the, re the reference ID uh, the source also you can link it you can unlink it it's really up to you I uh, always just want to leave it the way it is because uh, I don't want to uh, lose the point of reference everything else really doesn't matter uh, you can the, the detail marker blah 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 all of this is just uh, basic information I don't really want to go into this or complicate this uh, too much um, <clears throat> like I said this is this is very basic you can even choose the, the 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 marker head to be a different shape or you can remove the shape um, uh, you can set the distance from from markers from to the line marker head to the line extension um, uh, there's a lot of things you can work around um, how you want this thing to be shown um so i'll just encourage you guys to go ahead and just play around with it find out find out what settings actually work for you 
But at this point on, we're pretty much done with the 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 the, the callout tool. The only thing that really matters is how do you call it? What does it? How does it work really? And how can you detail this information? So. I always just use this as a background so I can just open source, uh, open with current view settings uh, and then this is what it will give you. Obviously the text and everything like that gets um, thrown out the window. Uh, under the quick layers option, obviously we are under the section layer combination and the scale. You can either make it 20 as you can see the higher the scale or the smaller the scale, uh, the more detail you get. Uh, or the less detail you get it doesn't it really it's really up to you i'd like to leave it at one is to uh one is to ten or maybe one is to twenty i don't know um does that work for me let's 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 leave it at one is to twenty for now and then this is where you'd start you know uh detailing your your section so i'm just gonna quickly uh walk you through the information that i that I want to show in this specific detail so I can now start working on this detail um, I have a I know the brickwork that I want to show the, the specific brick, brick it's a uh, 110 by 75 and then I'll just want to give it instead of using the um, uh, the the building material fill type or the section or the flow cut I'll just make it a simple uh, fill and then I'll go make this a common brick and then I'll just flip all of this around uh, the what the, the the fill area uh, I'm going to make it white and then the this area I'm going to make it red and then I'm just gonna give it an outline the outline is going to be 0.2 uh, 0.25 that's the right pen size for a brick right and then I'm just going to spread this all the way to the bottom so 85 so that we have a 10 millimeter uh, mortar space in between all of this and then I'm gonna say uh, group this and then I'm just going to go ahead and drag a copy so that's control shift D uh, to the other side That's it, and then a uh, T to trim uh, the extra the extra stuff. So um, yeah, that's it. Uh, and also, I would like to sort of like offset this by five, and then I'm going to trim everything from this point on. Do the same thing right here. As suspend and unsuspend, and then offset by five. Trim everything right there so that we have that space in between right there uh, all right uh, this also I'll make it the same as this because this is a it's actually a paving brick and the paving brick obviously it's a brick so uh, the paving brick is actually 550 millimeters and then from this point on I can even remove this there are some fields here which you cannot see but I'd like to remove them right now and then I can uh, go ahead and spread this all the way up. Uh, group this, trim it. Group this and then trim it. Select all of this and then mirror a copy that's Control Shift M. Mirror a copy to the other side and then I'm happy with that. Um, so I can just remove this. This was for referencing and then here. I'm going to also uh, change it from being a, a mater uh, building material to being a simple fill. And then uh, this is going to be a structure. So there's lightweight concrete, but I want this to be structural concrete. So it's um, structural concrete right here. And then I'm just going to flip this around, make this white, and then make that green. And then give it an outline. This outline needs to be a bit bold, so it's 0 0.35. Uh, the pen that I'm using, and then I can always do this. Add to this area, remove it here also, and then add to this area. That's what you get right there. This 
add color also i'm going to remove it from being a specific uh, building material to being a simple fill and then i'm going to use the add fill uh, and then change the change the the the, the, the line weight i also want to make this out to be dashed lines like this maybe uh, use this ones same thing here yeah i like that very much and i want to make sure that they are brought to the front so that they are you can see them um i'm gonna remove i think there are lines here which i would like to remove like this and there's a line here that i'd like to remove but the this brickwork needs to be this to jump out the page basically so i'm going to bring it to the front by uh clicking over there so that's it um kind of happy with this like liking how it's coming out there's another line here which i need to remove so i'm going to suspend uh the the grouping so that i can delete that line on its own <clears throat> So yeah, uh, what else do you want to include here? This line, I want to push it just a tad bit to the side by 10 millimeter. So this is the plaster line. Uh, move it there, 10 millimeter, uh, so that uh, it shows properly. And then I'm just going to create a fill right here. So this is going to be a 25 um, millimeter fill 25 millimeter thick fill for the concrete screen to be more specific and because this is a concrete screen it's not a structural concrete it's a lightweight concrete and then i'm going to make the screen also and i'll also create maybe another fill for the uh, let's say let's uh, let's make it 20 millimeters um by 20 so this is where the 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 floor finish would be either the floor tile or the um it's either the floor tile or the timber floors yes uh and then i'm just going to make it a hatch give it a gray color and leave it like that uh and then i'm going to create a skirting which is going to be uh, 20 millimeters by 75 millimeter high. This is obviously, I want this to be maybe a timber skirting, so I'm going to be using the wood fill, and then I'm going to be using the yellow pen. Um, create a circle for the for the, for the nose. Take that, put it over there all right uh, as you can see guys i've gone ahead and uh, annotated and did some more drafting uh and also i um made the scale a bit bigger i don't if i don't know if this would be considered to be a bigger scope from the 1 to 20 now it's a 1 to 10. <clears throat> uh, as you can see i've also added in some uh, some basic uh, drafting information like the damp proof membrane uh, the damp proof cores uh, also the damp proof membrane with the vertical damp proof membrane also i added some uh some steel work uh this is a, a mesh reinforcement on the floor slab and also i added a uh, reinforcing um uh um r8 at 500 centers this this annotation indicates that this is an r8 at 500 centers and i added in some um y12 rebars this is also r8 at 500 centers i added in some y16 rebars uh two uh y16 rebars to be to be specific and i added some annotations as you can see right here on the screen uh and uh basically that's that that's how you do use a a detail tool and that's how you detail a section or detail um, or annotate or draft or make a detail it's really up to you so I'll just, what I'm gonna do right now is I'm gonna go ahead um, because all this time I've been working from project maps and all this quick layer information does not get saved so what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to the view map 
and then I'm gonna go under the details and then I'm going to uh, to set everything so it's one in tens which is fine uh, we're using the uh, section layer combination and everything else I'm not really worried about if I were to do some annotations I would like to be plain millimeters as it is right here so it is fine with me um, and then I can just go on to my layout as you can see right here on the section the callout is already there so I'm gonna go to view maps and then I'm just gonna drag and drop this detail onto the sheet right here and then I'm just gonna try and find a suitable spot for it uh, maybe somewhere right here next to the foundation layout uh, right now the only thing that I'm seeing maybe is that the something is missing I think I'm using the wrong pen set I'm supposed to be using the Studio 39 pen set There you go, that's it. Um, like I said, that's how you detail, and we're pretty much done with this video. Um, before I close out, I'd like to also once again encourage you guys to like, comment, and subscribe to this channel because I'll be doing videos like this every week. Uh, that's it from me, Rich Man. See you on the next video. Love you guys, God bless you, and goodbye. I'm